Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this video shows you how to roll your Windows 11 back to Windows 10. So if there's something you're not quite liking about Windows 11 and you want to roll it back to Windows 10, then you can do so. Now you must be within 10 days of installing Windows 11. If you've upgraded to Windows 11 from Windows 10, after 10 days, unfortunately, the feature goes away. And if you've run a cleanup on your system in any way, shape or form, then that can also remove that facility and not allow you to go back, I'm afraid. In which case, if you haven't if you haven't got the option to go back, then you will need to wipe the system clean and reinstall Windows 10 from your original media that you created when you got your computer or your laptop. So if you do have a problem with Windows 11, before uninstalling it and going back to Windows 10, then I would try and say, perhaps try and sort the problem out. But as a last resort, roll back to Windows 10. So this is how you do it. So you click on the start button just down here. Okay, once you've clicked on that, you get the menu come up and just type on your keyboard, recovery. So that's R-E-C-O-R-V-E-R-Y. And you've got a couple of options here. Now, what you're looking for is recovery options just here. Not recovery drive or recovery, but recovery options just there. Move your mouse over it, left click once. Then you've got a few options here. So you've got fix problems without resetting your PC. You've got reset this PC or you've got go back. And this is what we're looking at here is go back. So it says here, if this version isn't working, try going back to Windows 10. Now, like I said earlier, if it's been more than 10 days since you upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11, then unfortunately you may not have this option here. Also, if you've used any kind of disk cleanup tool or maintenance tool, then that again may have cleaned up the option to go back to Windows 10. And again, that option may not be here. If you haven't got this option, then unfortunately you've got no choice but to wipe the system clean and reinstall Windows 10 from scratch. There is no way to reverse the installation if you haven't got that there, I'm afraid. So obviously if you've got that there, then we can move our mouse over, go back, left click once, and there we go, we get this message saying, getting things ready, this won't take long. And now it's asking us, why are you going back? So you can select here, whatever reason it is applicable to you. It's helpful to Microsoft. So, um, so if I say Windows 10 seemed easier to use, let's tick that, but obviously tick what's more appropriate to you. If you need to tell them more, then you can click in there and type more in there about the problem and that gets sent off to Microsoft and hopefully they might consider changing something in the future based on your feedback. Move your mouse over next, left click once and here we go, it gives us the chance here, it says check for updates. Before you go back, try installing the latest updates. This might fix the problems you're having. Well, I'm gonna say no thanks because I definitely wanna go back to Windows 10. So move your mouse over, no thanks, left click once. And again, it says here, what you need to know, this might take a while and you won't be able to use your PC until it has finished. Leave your PC plugged in and turned on. That's very, very important, okay? Because if you unplug it or switch it off, halfway through downgrading, it will basically mess up the system and it won't work at all. So no matter how long it takes, if you end up leaving it overnight, just leave it. Don't be tempted to switch off or uh, unplug or force it off. So, okay, so it says here, after going back, you'll have to reinstall some apps and programs and you'll lose any changes made to the settings after the upgrade to Windows 11. Are your files backed up? This shouldn't affect them, but it's best to be prepared. So yes, make sure that anything important is backed up because again, if anything goes wrong, then you stand to lose your files. So, okay, once you're happy, you've backed everything up and you're happy to proceed, move your mouse over next, left click once. Okay, so it says, if you used a password to sign into Windows 10, make sure you know it. You won't be able to sign in without it. So if you're sure you know the, the password, what it was, if you've changed it since upgrading to Windows 11, make sure you know what the password was when it was Windows 10, and then click Next. 
Okay, so it, again, it says, thanks for trying Windows 11. If you ended up missing improved search security and startup, come back to Windows 10 at any time. So move your mouse over, go back to Windows 10, left click once. Now, this is the point where the computer will restart and it will take a long time. So now leave it, leave it plugged in, do not do anything with it let it do what it needs to do. It, the computer will, will restart several times and you'll get several messages up on the screen. But like I say, just be patient. If it means leaving it overnight, leave it overnight. Do not interrupt it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it once Windows 10 has been reinstalled. Okay, so the computer restarted a few times and it's finally come back to Windows 10. Now, as you might have noticed on my screen, I've lost the icon for Google Chrome, which is just on the left just there. Now that is because I didn't install Google Chrome until I upgraded to Windows 11. So you might find that things like that happen. You know, if you've installed something after installing Windows 11, then it would have uninstalled it. So you'll just need to reinstall it again but hopefully like mine yours has restored back to Windows 10 and whatever you had as the problem is no longer there. So there you go I hope this video helped you out and whilst you're here don't forget to look around my channel I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of topics I'm sure you'll find something to educate you entertain you or even amuse you. And please don't forget, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel and you'll always find out when my latest videos come out. I'm sure I've got more videos for you coming soon for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 and many other technology subjects too. Please let us know in the comments below how you got on with this video. Did it work okay? Did you have to do anything different? Did it not work for you? Whatever happened, please let us know in the comments below. If you just wanna say hi, just wanna tell us where you come from, then yep, yeah, by all means, comment down below. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you.